Hey y'all, it has got to be a study done on the fall off of Trey Songs. Like Trigger Trey has fallen off so hard, the boy fell off like Bran Stark on Game of Thrones on the first episode. Well, honestly, he got pushed off. He got pushed off in that episode, but boy, Trey Songs then fell off like bad dope. Seriously, the man previewed a song. I guess he was trying to show us that him and uh, Tiger did a song a while ago, and he didn't release the video because it wasn't enough black women in the video. And that was his attempt to like try to like pander to black women to get them back on his team and back loving him because he's had a few of those... Chester, them, them creep charges on him. People have tried to, people have accused them of that creepy thing. That creep, being a supreme, not just a creep, but a predator, uh, an assaulter, okay? People have accused him of the, of grape, graping them. You know what I mean? And so, I don't know if him trying to say, oh, I didn't, he's telling the world that he didn't release a video because it wasn't enough black women in the video. I don't know if that was his attempt at, I believe that's, that's his attempt of trying to get the black women back on his side after all them accusations have been placed against him, right? But anyway, man, the song's so terrible. Go to, go on the Shade Room right now on Instagram and go look at that damn song. Look at the song with that he, um, I guess, held back from being released with Tyga. This shit's so horrible. Bro, it don't even sound like he's singing. It just sound like, this stuff sound like talking, like sing rap. Like singing and rap. It don't really seem like he not singing. He just sing rap. It don't even sound like real R&B. It sound playful, childish. And I'm like, bro, Trey Song's got to be almost 40 years old. He still sound like he making songs for people like 22, 23. And again, there's nothing wrong with having youthful, fun songs. But that, like, bro, no, no. It don't even, it don't sound good at all. I wanted to yawn while listening to the single. I'm like, yo, this do not sound good, man. And I don't know, Trey ain't had a hit since, I'm trying to think, I want to say since like 2016-ish around that time. That's the last time I remember Trey really, really having like a, what song with, What song he had since 2016? Y'all let me know, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't remember no hit records he's really made recently. And, um, but yeah, man, it, the fall off of him has got to be studied, man. It's just like stuff he put out, it do not, it doesn't stick. It, it isn't impactful. Um, it sounds like microwaved R&B, some just like not even R&B. It sounds like microwave sing song rap. Oh, let me let me just make some real quick. Let me put a little melodies over me talking for real. <laughs> and let me just sell it to the public. And like, no, man, no, like it's still a lane for real R&B. When he first came out, like I got a make it album, trade day album ready album that was some real real r&b on there he was doing r&b not well i mean lol smiley face was also on um on uh what's what album was that ready i believe lol smiley face with gucci and soldier boy was on there right but he still had you know um uh neighbors know my name and he had uh jupiter love scratching me up he still had um um what was that? Your side of the bed. He still had um what's the other song called, man? Dang. He had a lot of songs. He had a lot of nice songs, man. Uh I'm trying to now that album is escaping my mind right now, but I used to love that album, right? Trey Day. The man had I Can't Help But Wait on there, written by Brian Michael Cox. Hey, Brian Michael Cox done got to pin some more songs for him. Go holler at Jonte Austin now. And go get them back in there to go help you write some R&B, man. Uh, I got to make it, uh, got to go, all the ifs. Come on, man. Even Wonder Woman, he was singing on that joint. Sex for your stereo on, on the Trey Day album. Uh, even Store Run, a song about going to go get a pack of condoms before being intimate with your woman. That sound way more soulful, way more R&B to this little sing song, uh, Fruity Loops. Sing <laughs> Fruity Loops R and B type music, man. Like it just no, man. It does not hit. And Tiger, Tiger terrible too. Tiger released some song. I mean, I released. Yeah, he was showing us in the studio about showing us some song he had when he was in the studio about a week ago. Shit was horrible too. He another one. Still think he twenty six. You know what I mean? And again, it's not everybody. It's I mean, listen. It's nothing wrong with keeping some youth in you and all that. I, I'm thirty one, so I'm not a spring chicken either, right? We all want to be youthful at times, but it's like Tiger, 
Tiger still sound like he rapping about tattoos and snapback hats. And and just flat chick still. Like, man, I know you got some more stuff to rap about besides that. Like, come on. And it, it, But the song was terrible, regardless. If it was a good song, I'd be like, all right, Tiger, you got a hit. The song Tiger was trying to rap in the studio about a week or two ago, the shit was so terrible. It was so bad. I was like, bro, keep that. You should have kept that in your house. You should have kept that in your house. But yeah, man, Trey songs, man, it's just R&B. His R&B don't hit the same way no more, man. His songs, man, it does not, it do not hit the same way. You need to go in the studio with Brian Michael Cox, John Tay Austin them, and let them pin you something. Let Jermaine Dupri produce the track and get you back in that groove. Because, man, it is, you can tell, like, their influence is really missing. It is, man. And I don't know if he's still in good favor with those guys. I don't know. You know, hopefully for his career's sake, hopefully so, because it just, it ain't it. But, you know, I seen Trey t start taking a turn when I remember he did an interview in the Breakfast Club some years ago, 2015, 2016-ish, and he had a dark energy over him. You ever watch somebody, you can see they got a little dark energy over them? Trey used to be playful and, and, and joyful, and he had a dark energy around him around that 2016 interview with the Breakfast Club. Angela Yee, of course, was still there, Charlamagne, DJ Envy. And it, like, lined up with, like, yo, is it, what, what's going on with him? And I remember B.B. Rexa telling the story about how Trey, she was at a wedding. Trey, Trey Songs came to that same wedding with a plus one. And she seen him, and Trey was looking at her. And she said she went to the bathroom or something. And Trey went to the bathroom, and he grabbed her and pushed her against the wall and said, let's do this. Like he was about to kiss her. While he was with a woman, the woman was somewhere else. And she was like, no. She told his story, and it was like, yo, Trey out here being a creep. So Trey known that's an that's a act of forcing yourself on a woman, brother, even if it's just a kiss. It's creepy. It's weird. Ain't no just a kiss when a woman don't want the affection from you. If she not, if it's not consensual, you know what I mean? If it's not mutual, consensual, like, brother, no. And so when I think about that dark energy over him, I'm like, man, when I, in that interview, and when I saw he was acting all like he was really standoffish, but real like uh, he had an aggressive demeanor. And I'm like, yeah, y'all got to see what I'm, the interview I'm talking about from like 2016, 2015 ish at the Breakfast Club. And I'm like, yeah, so what's, what's, what the hell is wrong with dude? And when you hear them allegations, you're like, I don't know, man. I'm not saying the girl's telling the truth. I'm not saying they lying. I'm just saying where it's a lot of smoke like that, it's some fire somewhere sometimes. A, a lot of times, a lot of times where it's a lot of smoke, it's on fire somewhere. I don't know. I'm not accusing him of nothing. I'm going to say it's all alleged. I don't know if he did it or not. I don't know if it's a money grab, but like, I don't know. Sometimes where there's, some, where there's a lot of smoke, there is some fire sometimes, you know? Peace.